Welcome back. Uh, well, uh, Egypt hosts the International Conference for Sports Culture. The uh, Doctor, um, uh, the Minister of the Youth and Sports, Dr. Ashraf uh, Subhi, head of the Executive Office of the Council of Arab Youth and Sports uh, Ministers, Lieutenant General um, Rajoub uh, Jabril uh, Rajoub, and also the President of the Supreme Council for Youth and uh, Sports in the state of uh, in uh, the. Uh, in Palestine and also Dr. George Kalas, Minister of Youth and Sports in the Lebanese in Lebanon. Uh, also, uh, all of them have witnessed uh, the opening of the International Conference on uh, Sports uh, Culture organized by the Arab Federation on the Sports uh, Culture to uh, celebrate uh, and also in order uh, to uh, honor a number of Arab uh, sports uh, stars uh, in all uh, fields under the patronage of Dr. Mustafa Medbouri. Well, uh, to shed more light on this, we have the pleasure uh, to have with us over the phone uh, Mrs. Mona Sami, the sports uh, analyst. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, dear. Hello, well, everyone. Uh, how are you? Well, uh, Mrs. Uh, Sami, uh, give us an idea or could you explain to us uh, the term sports culture? What is the sports culture? Um, you know, like uh, a sports culture is the expression uh, of a team values, attitude, and uh, beliefs about sports and the competition. You know, uh, for example, uh, it does remind whether the team is focused on uh, winning, uh, fun, or whether it promotes individuals or team success. Yes. So, uh, concerning the conference, uh, uh, give us an idea about uh, uh, the International Conference for Sports uh, uh, Culture uh, and what are the activities of uh, uh, this conference? Uh, the International Conference uh, for Sports Culture uh, is organized by the Arab Federation for Sports uh, to celebrate and honor a number of Arab sports stars uh, in all fields. Uh, I think holding this sports culture, culture conference uh, comes within the framework of Egypt's strategy uh, to build the humanity through sports, uh, which also reflected in the physical strengths and the psychological states of uh, citizens. Yes, yes. So what is uh, also, what is the role uh, of uh, the Arab Federation for Sports? Uh, 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 please, just uh, I, uh, your, your voice is breaking for this exam. For this yes. Question. What is the role that is played by the Arab Federation of Sports? The Arab Federation of Sports, I think it's like uh, a confederation that uh, collects all Arab uh, countries in, uh, uh, under one umbrella mm. just uh, to have one uh, uh, to uh, promote and encourage the youth to, uh, uh, for sports and, uh, and also to spread the, the concept of sports in Arab countries, not just for the professionalism, but also uh, like for uh, uh, lifestyle. Yes, uh, Mrs. Sami, since we are uh, speaking about expressions and terms, um, how could the, um, uh, the term sports culture uh, uh, would uh, boost a sustainable development plan? I think the sport of overall. Uh, uh, in, I think the sport overall has a big role in sustainable development. Uh, you, you know, like uh, uh, it's also in the line with the United Nations uh, conclusion that the sport is uh, is an important tool uh, for sustainable development, as it can promote uh, development, peace, empowerment, health. Uh, education. Uh, also, uh, sports uh, uh, is a safe place and a safe space to address the gender issue. Uh, uh, for example, engaging women in sports projects can address issues such as gender-based violence and the female uh, leadership. Also, uh, the popularity of sports um, among men and uh, young uh, boys can also make them an effective way to engage on such topics. Yes. So, um, uh, spreading awareness concerning uh, sports or the uh, sports culture in general and changing the culture of the way uh, uh, people uh, think how can we spread the awareness on the importance of uh, uh, the sports for humanity um, i think this is uh, uh, it's a shared responsibility between uh, several parts uh, the important of which is the state and the institutions and the leadership because we need to establish places to practice sports and make them available to everyone as well as the media, because uh, media can encourage the, the concept of, of sports and not uh, just for the sake of uh, professionalism and for, uh, for the win only, the, the winning only or competitions only. It's also for practice and lifestyle. Uh, we, we don't forget also the families and the schools. It's like uh, a shared uh, uh, between different, different parties.
Yes, of course, it's something that should start from the school days, uh, the early uh, school days, of course, uh, for the students uh, to know the importance of uh, sports. This is uh, very important uh, 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 during uh, the education years, of course. So, um, 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 uh, also, how do you uh, comment on the development uh, that has been occurred uh, in the infrastructure of uh, the sports uh, institutions uh, here in Egypt? Uh, the uh, state have uh, also uh, established a number of sports in institutions uh, here in Egypt. Uh, I believe that there is a great uh, development in the infrastructure, uh, especially sports infrastructure in Egypt. Uh, especially also with the hosting of many major events in various games and evidence of this, uh, Egypt uh, recently has obtained the right to organize the 20, uh, 27 African Games uh, which are equivalent to a mini Olympics and, uh, and uh, uh, organizing and uh, holding uh, events like this, it's like a major bride for Egypt to uh, organize an African game. Yes, uh, Mrs. Mona, um, uh, the idea of Egypt hosting an international uh, sports events, uh, uh, how would this affect the spread or the awareness uh, of the sports culture? Um, I think the idea of having followers from different teams and different cultures, also different countries, gives the people uh, the, the, the concept to accept uh, the differences and the different people and also accept uh, the, the defeat because in the end there is only one winner. And we, when we are open to other players and other countries, it it's gives us diversity uh, overall and uh, raise the awareness uh, for sports and for uh, also to be a fan, to be a good fan and to uh, uh, like encourage uh, uh, some uh, teams without any other uh, rules or any other something uh, uh, odd, but only uh, the rule of sport that we accept the defeat but, uh, the, uh, and also we appraise the winner. Yes, I thank you very much for your time. Thank you for your valuable information, Ms. Mona Sami. Thank you very much for joining us over the phone, Ms. Mona Sami, sports analyst. Uh, and uh, we are going to a short break, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm going to be back with you.